welcome back guys in this video i will be explaining that how you can fix missing wi-fi adapter or wi-fi not showing in the device manager of your windows 10 and windows 11 i have covered all the powerful solution that will be surely helping you to fix this problem so make sure that you do not skip any part apply all the solution and after that i'm very sure that you will be having this issue get fixed now right now you can see that if i just go to my network icon i don't see the wi-fi option here and in order to troubleshoot it when i go to the device manager by making a right click on the windows icon and then when i click on device manager i don't find the wi-fi option in the network adapter you can see that there is no wi-fi adapter all right so first we will start with the instant solution the quick fix so what you can do here in the device manager from the top menu option click on view then click on show hidden devices now many time it happens that your wi-fi adapter goes in the hidden devices and this quick setting can bring this option back now check back and still if the problem occurs then what you will have to do next click anywhere in the device manager then from the top menu option click on action then click on scan for hardware changes and again you can check back and now you can see that my wi-fi adapter is back i got this option and now if i go back to my network connection so you can see the wi-fi option is back here all right so this is the quick fix that you can apply now in case if these two quick fix doesn't work you can minimize the device manager now click on your window search type troubleshoot then from the suggestion click on troubleshoot settings click other troubleshooters here scroll down a bit and you will find the network adapter option so click on run now this will be detecting the problem and will ask you that what kind of adapter you are having the problem with so choose wi-fi then click on next and again it will start detecting the problem and either it will give you some kind of recommendation to fix the problem and sometime it automatically fix the problem now my issue has been already resolved so i'm not getting enough help so i can close it next click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt choose run as administrator then click on yes now here you have to run few command that you will be getting in the description you can copy them from there and paste here one by one now don't escape any of the command because all these commands are very powerful to fix this kind of problem. So copy the first command, come back to the black window, right click paste it, hit the enter key. Now copy the second command, right click and paste it, enter. Copy the third command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now copy the fourth command, come back to the black window, paste it hit the enter key now this command will take some time the last three command will be scanning uh, all kind of system files so you will have to wait here until this command is being completed all right so meanwhile it's a scanning what we can do we can minimize it then again you have to bring up your device manager now in the device manager from the top menu option you have to click on action then click on add legacy hardware click next now here choose the second option then click on next here you have to look for network adapter click on it then click on next now here from the left in menu option you will find few manufacturer on the right hand side you will find the model of their manufacturer so first you can start with the intel so what exactly we are doing here we are manually installing the wi-fi adapter from the device manager so click on intel then from the right hand side you have to look for intel wi-fi wireless adapter if you get it then you have to click on that wireless adapter then you have to click on next and install it now in case if you don't find in intel then you can also try looking in intel corporation microsoft realtech broadcom and see wherever you find it the wireless adapter you have to click on it and install it so once it's been installed again you have to close everything come back to the black window and we can see this command has been completed now you have to run this command paste and enter again this will be scanning so you will have to wait here 
once completed you have to copy the fifth command of dism again right click and paste it hit the enter key and once this command is completed then you have to run this command of ssc and again this command will also take some time and once all these scanning command are completed then finally you will have to run this command and once this command will be running it will be stopping all the wi-fi and the internet services and it will ask you to restart so again you can go ahead and restart your computer check back again and see if the problem has been fixed now this is a very powerful method and i'm very sure that this will be fixing the problem but in case still if you have the issues then finally you will have to manually install the wi-fi driver on your windows 10 or windows 11. so for that you can bring up any of your favorite browser go to google and here you have to type intel wi-fi driver download for windows 10 or windows 11 whichever you are using hit the enter key and from the suggestion here you have to click on the first option now depending whichever you are using 32 bit or 64 bit you can download it once downloaded you have to install it install the driver and probably it will ask you to restart again and even not then you can go ahead and restart you restart your router and check back the wi-fi option will be back in your device manager and even on the settings so hopefully guys this complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye